Good morning, Tehmina Khan is here in TK Maths is Fun. In today's video, we will continue transformation and we will discuss translation now. In the last two videos, we have done reflection. So this video is on translation. In translation, first of all, you need to understand the way it is written and what is the meaning. And then we will go to the question. So first of all, you need to understand when question will say move two unit right it means you will go two units to this side two unit left you will go here suppose three unit up so wherever you are you will go up three unit down wherever you are go here so up is plus down is negative right is plus left is minus either wordings are used or the way it is written which is called column vector so if it is written like this, what does it mean? First one always represent horizontal movement along the x-axis, this way or this way. Second number always represent vertical movement, this way or this way. Now it depends on the sign. Right now this is plus 3. So we are talking about right side movement. If it was minus 3, then it means move left. Similarly, this two, if it is plus, you are going up. If it is minus, you are coming down. So first, on the top, the number represent X movement, left, right. And second, Y movement, up and down, right. So in general, it is written like this. So we will see more into detail, but you know how to read it and how to write it. Okay, this is called column vector form of translation. So we have seen one thing in reflection, the size of the picture does not change, shape does not change, and same is the case with translation. Okay, so translation in simple layman language means sliding. Okay, but you will not slide um, diagonally you will always slide along x-axis or along y-axis this is a fixed rule so now if I see this triangle C I have to move 8 squares right okay it means I will go 8 unit like this and 1 is square down and then I will come down so let's pick up any vertex suppose I am picking up this vertex 8 unit down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this point will come here you have to move other points also so using this point if you can draw the picture here fine otherwise you count every point okay now this point one two three four five six seven eight first of all i am completing eight squares right for all the vertices right now this one one two three four five six seven eight so now this is the shape if I move it 8 units right but this is not what I have to do I have to move it 1 unit down also okay so I don't need to draw this picture this is I have just shown um, did to show you now I will move it 1 unit down so this point will come here this point will come here this point will come here so my final shape of the diagram will be this okay and the extra things you will delete so this is your translation now let's do this if you want to put video and post want to try yourself you can so now this case four squares left so first i will go like this and then three squares up and then i will go three unit up okay so each vertex will go so suppose i'm picking up this one as i'll tell you one shortcut also here so first of all i'm going four squares left one two three four okay and then three squares up last may i've told you give move all the points first that is also one way now i'm telling you faster way if you can't understand then you can follow the same mode method which i have told you 4 square left, I am talking with respect to this point only. 3 squares up. 1, 2, 3. So now because I know in translation the shape does not change and this point has reached here, it means the rest of the figure will become what? Like this. Yes or no? So 
I don't need to count. I can straight away complete the diagram here. If you want to see for checking, you can check it. For example, this point. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Punch gap. Right. So this is how you will complete your translation. In this case, now it is not written in words. It is written in column vector form. So I have told you the meaning of this is along x-axis and this means along y-axis because 5 is plus it will go 5 unit right 6 is minus it will go 6 unit down so let me pick up one point this one 5 unit right 6 unit left uh, down sorry 1 2 3 4 5 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this point will come here similarly now I don't need to count you know why because I know this point is how many? 4 unit, na? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can draw here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Straight away. I will get this line rather than counting everything. Because in translation, shape does not change. Right? But if you want to count, you can. So let's count this one. For example, I am not okay with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 unit down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this point will come here and then I will join it. And the rest of the things you will delete to make a clear look on the diagram. Okay. So this is how you will translate the diagram whatever is given. Now what does it mean 0, 4? Hmm? This represents x axis movement and y axis. When it is 0, it means there is no movement happening along the x axis. Only movement happening is along the y axis. And because it is 4, plus 4, so it will go 4 unit up. So this picture will straight away go 4 unit up. No movement is happening along the x axis, neither right nor left. So let's move this point 4 unit up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So after moving this, I can complete the shape of the diagram easily here. I don't need to count the rest of the, uh, what it is called, vertex. But if you are not comfortable, you can count. No problem. Okay. Now here you have to find the translation. So what happened here? Mm, write down the translation vector that would take A to B. So pick, diagram is going from A to B. So let's pick up only one coordinate. Suppose I'm picking up this one. And I told you in this one we write along x-axis first, y-axis first. Now my question to you, this point, just a minute. This point is reaching here. So it means it is going left first, right? One box left. So minus one. And how many boxes are? If you see, half. Okay, this one is also in half way. So let's count like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 unit up. You understood? Let's do the second one. Translate shape A by the vector 4, 2. Okay, this one we have to move. And label B. Mm, okay, so let me pick up any point. 4 unit right. From this point, 1, 2, 3, 4. And two unit up one two so this point will come here you want to count the rest of the vertex or you can draw the shape here I can draw the shape why because I can count the boxes here and draw the shape here easily agreed so why not I save my time so this is again two boxes here can you see here so I will just draw two boxes here so original shape will come here okay now it is saying write down the translation vector that would return b to a okay now this is my b this is a very good question so when you have to return b to a what is the technique will you count boxes no straight away whatever is written in the column vector multiply it by minus sign minus one so four will become minus four two will become minus two i'm repeating if you are going from A to B by 4 and 2 and you have to come back from B to A, then it has to be reverse. 
and reverse of plus is minus so that's why i will change the sign in case now please pay attention in case it was for example minus 3 and 5 then for the reverse this minus sign will change into plus this plus sign will change into minus so basically you reverses the sign when the picture has to come back to its original shape okay so now translate each of this shape below as illustrated so this is your test now you can put the video on pause and do it i'm doing it very quickly here okay first one is three one one two three one so it will be something like this okay um should i do all or you can do it you do it and then you will try it let me do this one for you zero and minus five zero mean along uh, x-axis it will not move it will only move along y-axis vertically down y-axis is not drawn here na? so minus five mean coming down so suppose i'm taking this point one two three four five so this point will come here and i can complete the picture here i do not need to count the rest of the points right what about this one along the x-axis 1.5 unit and vertically no movement because it is zero so this point will come here this point will come here because every point will move 1.5 unit and this one will come here right one full box and one half box and then join it so i think rest are easy you can try yourself however i want to focus on this one describe fully each translation going from a to b so um a to b let me pick up any vertex this vertex is corresponding to this vertex so one two three four five unit right and one unit up describe fully i will write it is translation it is written here already no need but anyway it is translation by five unit right and one unit up and then write in the column vector form as well now this shape a has come on shape b i can see there is no x movement rather this point is coming straight down here one two three four five unit down so it means along x axis nothing is happening but along y axis five unit coming down so you can describe in words as well here a is going on to b along the x-axis i will not go here because there is no shape here right so i will move from here left one two three why did i stop here because i can see right on the top of this this point is here so three units left and then one two three four five five unit up so you can mention it like this okay now these two tricky question this one i have just explained to you it is saying from c to d you are going by this vector so if you want to come back from d to c what will you do what did i tell you reverses the sign so minus two and five now last question can you spot the error in this one what happened what did edward make what mistake did edward make you are absolutely right edward is reading them wrong he is using this as a vertical y axis and this as a x axis this is his mistake you see if i look at this point 1 2 3 4 so he has come four unit down and then he moved two unit right so this is his mistake he is reading this as a y axis uh, sorry vertical movement and this as a horizontal movement whereas it is a opposite case so after identifying if question says you draw correctly you will move along x-axis four unit left 
so this diagram e suppose i pick up this point i will move it four unit left one two three four and then two unit up one two so this point will come here and then i can complete the diagram very quickly here and this will be my f so mistake is he was reading opposite so i hope you understood it this is all about translation and in next video we will do rotation take care allah hafiz don't forget to press like and subscribe button